Hello, everybody, and welcome to this video, where today we are going to be talking about something that is a little shocking, but I swear to you that this will somehow involve some kind of writing tip, or at least publishing tip, or something that will help you navigate your writing career as it's going. This is what's going on. And this isn't the first time that something like this has happened. But this has happened enough to where I feel like I need to talk about it. Okay? So, last night, okay, I get a message from a reader. Okay? The reader tells me this kind of crazy story and prefaces it. Like, this has probably never happened before, but this is what happened. And this has happened before. Basically, what's going on is that this person and their significant other had a breakup, okay? The man in this relationship went by the house and started snooping around. Went into the person's bedroom and saw on the nightstand four of my books. Okay, a couple of the paperbacks and a couple of the chapbooks. He says to her, who the fuck is Matt Wall? Okay, she's like, what are you talking about? And he says, who the fuck is he? And she's like, a writer. And he says, well, I know. I saw his books on your nightstand and a couple of them looked handmade. Okay, and the funny thing is, is that... I don't know if this has ever been brought to my attention or if this is something that's even happened before, but the fact that I have books that look handmade, which they are, really got under this dude's skin. She, I guess, told him off for um, snooping. He's like, are you fucking him? Okay. Now, this, again, is not the first time a reader of my work has been accused by their significant other of fucking me, okay? It's silly that this is something that happens, but I don't, and again, I don't know if it's the handmade books, like it looks like I made it just for them or something like that, but it's something that comes up, okay? With all of this said, when I was told that this happened, I'm like, well, since he's so curious as to who I am, let me check some stats and see what's been going on. And my website had like a million hits last night. Like, not a million, but a lot of hits. Like, way more than normal. My uh, YouTube views went up enormously. Okay? So, right off the bat, I just want to thank this dude who is so fucking insecure and running on small dick energy that um, he had to sit through a bunch of YouTube ads to find out who the fuck I am, okay? And he did a bunch of my website clicks, with, which just helps with the Google Analytics and everything. So, bro, I I appreciate you. I appreciate you a great deal. Now, the other thing is, this is silly, okay? It's a silly thing to accuse people of doing things. It's a silly thing to get pissed off about it. Okay, I'm going to say this for every man out there in case you guys don't know. Okay, women are not property. If your chick wants to leave, she has every fucking right to do that. And you have absolutely no say in that matter. It's just the fucking truth. You do not control women. You do not own women. Women are allowed to make whatever fucking choices they want. And maybe instead of saying, are you fucking him? You should ask if she even wants you back or wants you at all. And if the answer is no, as painful as that may be, you need to fucking walk away. You need to move and let her live her life. I know you're watching this. This is why I'm doing this. Because if you're this crazy about shit, you're going to be stalking this page for a little bit. So I'm making this specifically for you right now. Ask her if she wants you. If she doesn't, move the fuck 
off, okay? It kind of breaks my heart a little bit, too, that um, she said that he is a fan of Bukowski and always wanted to write poetry. I feel like I lost a potential reader there because somewhere deep in his head, he thinks that I'm plowing his ex-girlfriend, okay? So, whatever. And, bro, even if I was, okay? Even if I fucking was, the big takeaway here is that I was probably doing it better than you. How do I know that? Because I have confidence in the fact that I could just sit here and talk about this, whereas you are fucking stalking and, like, arguing and trying to get up in people's shit. Very small dick energy, bro. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, walk the fuck away. That's it. If she wants you, she will want you. If she doesn't, she won't. It hurts, but that's fucking life, dude. We've all been through it. I've been through it. It sucks. But don't just start accusing motherfuckers of doing shit just because you have nothing else to do that day, okay? So, again, this is not the first time this has happened. There are a lot of insecure fucking dudes out there who are terrified and don't know how to communicate their fucking feelings any better than fucking yelling and accusing and acting territorial over the fucking women in their lives. Again, these women are not your women. They are their own people and can make their own choices, and those choices need to fucking be respected, bro. Okay, so I hope this clears some shit up for you and for any other guys out there. And again, dude, seriously, like I'm not trying to be a fucking dick right now, but I am not hard to find. My address is fucking public fucking knowledge. If you have a fucking problem, you could come fucking talk to me about it. Okay, if you really want to fucking have your dick swinging fucking hard and be like the big man, come fucking talk to me about it instead of being a fucking bitch. And trying to make people feel like shit because you're fucking insecure, you motherfucker. Jesus fucking Christ. I'm all fucking angry now. Fuck. And for those of you writers out there, things like this will happen. Okay? Things like this will happen because of your work. Okay? It's something that happens and don't freak out about it. But just know that the more you put your work out there, the more your work will be intertwined in people's lives. And that is something that you have to prepare yourself for. Because a lot of people in situations like this will panic and just like kind of run for the hills and hide under a rock or something like that. You can't do that. You have to persevere. You have to keep pushing. No one is going to make your dreams come true but you. And when any of these stupid fucking life bullshit things pop up in your face, you got to just fucking knock it in the teeth and fucking move on. Okay? Because obviously your stuff is resonating with people if it's causing domestic quarrels. All right? And bro, if the dude who this is about, if you are someone who wanted to always write poetry, now would probably be a really good time to start putting that pen to paper, okay? Seriously, write out how you feel. And don't fucking hide it behind fucking small dick energy. Don't fucking sugarcoat it with insecurity. Just be fucking real and get that shit down on paper. And I guarantee it will change how you're looking at things, okay? So, with all that said, everybody, if you haven't already joined the Anarchy Crew, Type hard, everybody, and there will be some other videos popping up here with more writing tips in them that you should watch because you obviously fucking need it, dude. All right, so I will talk to you all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew of the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.